so first you open up your browser and type render mais.com.br hit enter and you can see this website is in brazilian language once you enter the website immediately this message from the google pops up so you can just click translate i'm not sure about other browsers but you will get this option in google chrome so if you want to translate in other languages you can just click options change languages and you can select any language you want so i will keep english and click translate so website is now translated so close this and you can see there are there are many families here for free as well as the paid ones you see this one is for free and this one also so click here view all products you will get all these families here but if you want to filter the objects you can go here categories and go to families and unity and here you have all the categories so I will select vegetation and you can see that all the most of these families are for free so this tree family I use for in my previous project I will show you how to download files from this website so just click on this name here tree01 and you will get to the download page and click on download and you will get this message it says to download the files or the families you have to register or login so I will show you how to register and it will take us to this to this page where we can login or create a new account so I will I will click translate again and you can see you have to fill up this form you have to put your full name email address and I don't know what's this CPF I asked them they told me to put only zeros here so you have to put four zeros and for telephone if you don't want to provide them your phone number you can just put zeros here so you have to put eight zeros and for the state you have to put your state and uh, <laughs> google translated this to pa parents but it's the country you have to put your country here and this occupation you can select whatever you are put your password and then just click search here then you will be registered on this on this website then you can just log in here so i will log in now i will put my email address and the password login okay so i put the wrong password i think so i will type again And now you can download so I will cl click translate again and let's click on download and you can see the file is started downloading so I will close this one because I have already downloaded this family you can buy textures from here also so they have textures also I think textures are not for free you can see they have this material package here for $40 you can buy if you want these are actually the pre-made Revit materials you can just import them in your Revit material library and use them in your projects and uh, I think the, if you want to check any other things you can check but I, I would suggest you to like their Facebook page so follow them on their social media so that you will get updates about their new products now let's close this and I will show you how to use the families in our project so I will go to downloads and here I have this file so I will just open and you can see we have Revit file here so I will extract it to the desktop 
and then just drag this family into your project and you can see the family is now loaded so I will just place it here and let's see if the textures are working or not let's change it, the visual style to realistic and you can see the textures are missing So first you have to close Revit. Now we will just minimize it. Then go to my computer and go to C. You have to create a folder here. So just right click new folder. Let's call it Revit textures and open this folder and you can see there are some images here also with this family so you have to select all these and all these images and let's put them in the in this folder okay these these three are the textures and you can delete this if you want these images so i will delete these three these four and these are the textures so go back to Revit again and you have to add that folder to Revit so go to file options and go to rendering and you have to click this plus icon here to add value and then click here the corner of this and this dialog will open now you have to go to that folder so my computer C and we have this Revit textures file folder here so select and open okay you can see the textures are still missing so you have to reopen the Revit so close this and let's open it again let's create a new project and go to insert load family go to desktop and select that family and open so let's add this component so you have to go to architecture component and place it here and let's go to 3d and uh, and the textures are working fine so you have to do this with all the families you download from that website so whenever you download you have to place the texture images here in this folder you can you can make this Revit texture folder in any other drive as well if you want so anyway let's close this I think that's it for this tutorial so please like and share this video and don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already and see you guys in the next video